On this episode, we'll talk about if the ghrelin regenerates. We'll also talk about if taking omega-3 helps burn fat faster. And we'll also talk about how surgery helps osteoarthritis. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Alvarez from endobariatric.com and welcome to episode 65 of the Ask Dr. A show. Good questions today, I like them. So uh, thanks so much for um, subscribing to our channel. If you've never subscribed to anything of my stuff, this is something you have to do. You gotta subscribe to the YouTube channel. That is a must. That brings you knowledge. That brings you a lot of information. So that way you don't miss any of the Ask Dr. A shows or any other uh, video that we upload. All right, so we'll place the subscribe button right, bing, 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 right there. All right, so let's get into the show. After some time, does the ghrelin that was removed during surgery regenerate? All right, does ghrelin hormone regenerate? So uh, for those listeners and viewers, if you don't know what the ghrelin hormone is, that is a, a uh, that is a hormone that is produced inside your stomach. Uh, part of that uh, uh, goes along with uh, the removal of that portion of the stomach that we do uh, uh, when the, we do the gastric sleeve. And um, some people may think that it regenerates or we, we remove this hormone and this hormone, I'm sorry, this hormone produces head hunger, all right? So uh, we remove that portion of the stomach that produces the vast majority, the vast majority of the hormone that produces hunger. So people, Remember that we're still leaving part of your stomach intact inside of you. So that also produces ghrelin and ghrelin is also produced in the small intestine. So it's not removed completely. The thing is right after surgery, right after surgery, you do notice that uh, the ghrelin hormone is decreased greatly. Uh, that uh, means you're not hungry. Uh, cravings also start to go away. It helps you a lot. But down the year, years go by and everything, and you, you may say, well, now I notice that I eat more, which is different than being hungry if you're eating more. The other thing is you may think you're hungry if your stomach is swollen, and that is a gastritis, that is a common thing, an expected thing, and something seen on a patient with a sleeve, without a sleeve, normal patient that walks into the office, and that is related to I can give you a long list. That is related to coffee. That is related to skipping meals. That is related to stress. That is related to alcohol. That is related to smoking. That's related to um, uh, medications that you take. That is related to, I mean, I can keep on and going and going. So people, who doesn't have it, right? Probably I do. I mean, who doesn't have it, you know? So uh, gastritis, the inflammation of the stomach, the inner layer of the stomach is a common thing that is um, taken care of by taking anti-acids or acid blockers. And that is something a patient with a sleeve needs to do. If he or she starts to notice that they're starting to get a little hungry or they are starting to eat a little bit more and uh, because it, it, it's just simply not the way it used to be as right after surgery. Well, the thing is, things have changed. Now your sleeve down years, down, years down the road may get swollen. Uh, the swollen tissue, your brain detects it as hunger, and you st guess what? You start eating more, and you're saying, "Well, now, now I'm hung, I'm, I'm more hungry than I, I used to be before surgery." So, uh, what you, uh, my recommendation is, uh, check with your surgeon. It's probably just your sleeve swollen. Maybe a round of antacids should take care of it. But always be in co communication with your surgeon. Is it okay to take omega three to burn fat faster? All right, so uh, does omega-3, can I take omega-3 or fish oil to help burn faster, burn fat faster? Well, thing is, uh, there are some studies that have shown that uh, taking omega-3 may help, may help burn fat faster. The thing is, you really don't need it. You really don't need it. With the procedure itself, I mean, you will be a fat burning machine. Number one. Number two, you need to do you, your part. It's very important. You need to see your sleeve as a tool. Don't see it as a miracle thing. Don't see omega-3 as a miracle thing or don't see any other thing as a miracle thing. The truth is it's a tool that 
if you work with it together, it works amazing. So instead of taking omega-3, do me a favor. Get on the elliptical machine for 10, 15 minutes or get on the treadmill for 20, 30 minutes and build it up from there. That, way better. The way you'll feel, the boost of metabolism, burning fat much higher rate than taking omega-3 if it works, if it works. So um, take home message, work with your tool. Can you discuss how surgery helps those with osteoarthritis in the knees? So how does surgery help osteoarthritis, in particular your knees? All right, so it's very simple, very simple, and we'll keep it simple. If you got 35 or 50 or 100 or 150 pounds to lose, that goes directly to your knees, your hips, and they're carrying your weight, that extra weight every day, throughout the whole day, every step, literally every step of the way. So of course, losing this weight will help tremendously uh, your body will thank you for it. Your knees will thank you for it. Your knees, your hips, your a ankles, everything. I mean, it's everything gets so much better. We get a lot of referrals from uh, the orthopedic surgeons, uh, people who need knee replacements, hip replacements, and those those patients actually can postpone their surgery, even cancel the need for that surgery, just by having weight loss surgery and losing 100 pounds, 80 pounds, 50 pounds. I mean their quality of life gets so much better or at least postpone that surgery. So it's very simple. How does, how does it help? How does surgery? Just losing a good chunk of weight. All right, so that was it for episode 65 of the Ask Dr. A Show. Question of the week, people. Question of the week is, do you take omega-3 or if you don't, what supplements? I wanna hear what supplements. Do you take calcium? Do you take iron? Do you take a multivitamin? What do you take after your gastric sleeve surgery? Comment section below, I wanna hear from you. I'm Dr. Alvarez from endobariatric.com where we are changing lives one sleep at a time. Take care and God bless, bye-bye.